Hi there, welcome to Exam AZ900, Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is episode 25, Azure Security Features. My name's Tim Warner, welcome. Our objective today comes, of course, as always, in the Azure Fundamentals AZ900 objective domain. We start with the functional group Describe General Security and Network Security Features, pass through Describe Azure Security Features, and finally, our specific goals for today is to describe the basic features of Azure Security Center, Policy Compliance, Secure Score, Resource Security Hygiene, and Security Alerts. Now, this isn't as much information as you might first think, because policy compliance, secure score, hygiene, and security alerts are all features of Azure Security Center. Let's get rocking. The question to start with, of course, is what is Azure Security Center, or ASC for short? Microsoft defines Azure Security Center as a unified infrastructure security management system that has the following goals. Number one, to help you strengthen your security posture in Azure by assessing your environment. Now, I say in Azure, but one thing that's cool about ASC is that it's hybrid cloud aware, which is to say you can onboard on-premises servers from your local data centers and have them be monitored by Azure Security Center running in the cloud. And you don't even need a site-to-site virtual Virtual private network or an express route circuit to do it because it's using TCP 443 traditional web protocols. Another goal of ASC is to protect you against threats with recommendations and alerts. You know the old viral video, ain't nobody got time for that? It's one thing to proactively go into Azure Security Center and look at your recommendations and alerts. It's another to have Azure Security Center notify you, hey, heads up on this. We're going to see that Azure Security Center is integrated across all of Azure. You can get to it from the Azure Security Center blade, or you can get to ASC in the resource level, resource group level, etc. Lastly, Azure Security Center gets you secure faster with auto provisioning. You'll see that you can onboard your Azure resources to be monitored by Azure Security Center with a couple clicks of the mouse. Before we do our demo, I want to say just a couple words about Azure Sentinel to make sure you're clear that number one, Azure Security Center is a separate product from Azure Sentinel. First of all, Azure Security Center has a free tier that's always available, as well as a basic or paid tier that gives you all of the bells and whistles of the service. Now, whereas ASC protects your Azure resources in a hybrid cloud environment, like I said before, on-premises, physical, and virtual servers included. Azure Sentinel is a SIM SOAR solution that integrates with other vendors' products and services. Stated in another way, first of all, what do those four-letter acronyms mean? S-I-E-M, SIM, SOAR. SIM is Security Information and Event Management, and SOAR is Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. Look, the AZ-900 is not supposed to be an overly technical exam. Look at it this way. ASC is for everybody. Azure Sentinel is for full time security professionals, all right? Again, Sentinel is a separate product. It certainly extends the functionality of ASC, but goes far beyond it. You can integrate all of your security logs and your security signals across essentially all of your hardware and software across your entire business. You may be a multi-cloud shop and you use Amazon Web Services. Sure enough, you can use and have access to AWS CloudTrail audit information from within Sentinel. If you're using Barracuda hardware or Citrix or F5, it's pretty amazing what Sentinel can cover. It truly is a wide spectrum professional security solution. But I just wanted to, like I said, bring this up because number one, Sentinel is a fairly new product. It was announced in fall of 2019 at the Microsoft Ignite conference, but it is distinct from ASC. Without any additional blah, 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 let me get into the demo and show you how ASC works, at least from a basic perspective. In this demonstration, let's just take a look at some basic elements of Azure Security Center, paying, of course, the most attention to what's called out on the AZ-900 exam objectives. I'm going to do a search in the Azure portal for security, and, of course, there's lots and lots and lots and whole bunches of security products, but we're focusing on Security Center right here, the shield with the lock on it. Now, if I haven't told you this already, the best place to get started with a new Azure feature is to go to the Getting Started Blade, as you can see here. And this is where they're talking about some of the basic info that I gave you a moment ago. But this Getting Started Blade is actually really useful because you can enable, I called it the basic tier a few moments ago, apologies for that. There's the free tier and then the standard tier 
Upper Azure Security Center. And this just represents, it's a little bit crowded on my screen because of my resolution, but it represents a way to just click into your subscriptions to selectively enable Security Center for those resources. You can go to Pricing and Settings to do the same thing, basically. And then we can come down here, because like I said, this is a whole book, this is a whole training course, so I want to really hone down to what is on the exam. And the exam specifically mentions Secure Score, so we should start with that. Secure Score is, a, I'm not going to say arbitrary, but a Microsoft-defined metric value where you can evaluate the relative security of your environment. And by environment, I mean all of the subscriptions and resources that are being monitored by Azure Security Center. Now, the maximum number of points in your Secure Score is going to depend upon your environment, how many resources you've deployed and how you have them set up. In my situation, it looks like I'm not doing particularly particularly well, out of a possible 56 points for my deployments, I've only earned approximately 25. Microsoft's official definition of secure score is that it's a measure of the security posture of your subscription, where the higher the score, the lower the identified risk level. So we'll revisit that concept in a moment. Of course, you want a higher number here. There's almost a gamification aspect to this, but let's keep on going. Azure Security Center is able to monitor and audit your subscriptions by integration with Azure Policy, which I'm quite sure we've discussed thus far, and if we haven't, I'm sure we will. Long story short, Policy is a wide-ranging feature that goes across all of your Azure subscriptions, and as it happens, there's a bunch of pre-built ASC policies. We can click in, for example, up to the subscription level and take a look at what's going on, and it looks like I have the Security Center default policy that has a whole bunch of defaults on stuff it's looking for. Don't worry about memorizing it. If you decide to go forward into administrator and certainly architect, then you've really got a deep dive in here. But we're staying pretty much at the surface level. You also have, by virtue of that policy integration, integration with well-known industry and regulatory standards like PCI ISO 27001. And you can add more standards here, like for instance, GDPR. You can just start clicking down there to bring in other pre-built policies. And again, those allow Azure Security Center to perform these audits. You with me so far? Now, the Resource Security Hygiene AZ900 objective speaks about recommendations. Once again, once you've got ASC monitoring your subscription, Security Center is then going to report on any violations that it finds across these different elements, compute and apps, networking, Internet of Things hub, data, identity, and then any security solutions you've added into Azure. Let's go to the recommendations blade. And again, we see our secure score and we can see not only these really nice charts and graphs and pretty pictures, resource health, and it looks like I've got 15 elements with four unhealthy, 10 healthy, and one that's not applicable. And these views are actually clickable. I'll click one in just a moment, but notice that you can always grab a comma separated value report of any of this information. So let's come back here and continue scrolling down. The specific recommendations, as you see here, each have a potential impact on your secure score. This is where it gets into gamification in a degree. You want to maximize your score. I'm a video gamer from the late 1970s, so if you're not, pardon my analogy. <laughs> but it says here, just for example, that if we enable MFA or multi-factor authentication on accounts, we can get a potential 10 point or 18% score boost. Let me bring this out a little bit. There are so many Many of these rules and recommendations that go across in my case I've got a lot of work to do to click through and look at all of these but once you click into one at the detail level you'll notice that you can expand these rows to look at what kind of threat it is and most importantly what kind of remediation is required now MFA it looks like it's manual remediation which makes sense but at least there's step-by-step -step instructions to help you do that you'll find that some Azure Security Center remediation steps are automatic, where you click the mouse to allow Azure Security Center to auto-fix the problem for you. That's pretty sweet. So I find I spend a lot of time in the recommendations area. We scroll down to the very bottom under threat protection, we have security alerts. Now this is something you don't get at the free tier. And what this is going to show you is over time, any security events that Azure Security Center has 
raised. And of course, you can configure ASC to notify you when any of these events occur. And it looks like in my demo environment, I have some pretty scary security alerts that show up here. Access from an unusual location to one of my storage accounts. Traffic detected from an IP address recommended for blocking. So maybe Azure, through its vast threat intelligence, let's click into there, saw a suspicious IP address that may be known to come from a spammer, scammer, botnet army, whatever, showing the affected resource, the count, all of the metadata. In this case, fortunately, it's classified as a low severity event, so I don't need to be too concerned. And in this case, it tells me what port was accessed, which is the vulnerable port on a Windows virtual machine. 3389 is the remote desktop protocol or RDP. But this is the money here. This particular IP address, no offense if you own this address, <laughs> but for whatever reason, Azure Security Center seems to find this suspicious. We can now do some research into that address and possibly add it to a deny rule in our network security groups, or if we've got Azure Firewall, we can do a block for it there. Are you getting the general flow? This Azure Security Center is a wide collection of tools that allow you to evaluate the baseline level of your security. And you can, using the policy and compliance and security hygiene engines here, you can take advantage of their recommendations and be proactively notified if you have security alerts happening in your subscriptions. For learning resources, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. First, yes, a link to the Azure Security Center documentation, timw.info forward slash ASC1 is the short link. Also, I normally don't recommend resources that are not free. This book from Microsoft Press called Microsoft Azure Security Center Second Edition by Yuri Diogenes and Tom Schinder, both of those guys work for Microsoft. They're security professionals, so you're getting this information directly from the source. But it is a retail book product that costs, but because it's of such high quality, I wanted to recommend it to you. The Microsoft Press Store link for this book is timw.info forward slash ASC2. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. I've had these video clips on hiatus for a few weeks, and I'm so glad to be back at it. Please leave comments, subscribe, you know, the traditional YouTube stuff. I'm on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. I encourage you to check out Pluralsight, my full-time employer, and my author page there where all of my long-form courses are is at timw.info forward slash ps. And lastly, my website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.